We've got some people. Hi everybody, it's Akisha Hare, digital editor for Hairdressers Journal. Thank you so much for joining us today for the start of HJ's virtual week. Um, today we've got Casey Coleman from Chair Salon, so he's actually requested already, he's so prompt. Um, so I will add him to the um, But yeah, we've got Casey Coleman talking about the must-try apps for um, anybody that's at this time trying to diversify their skills, Casey! Hi! <laughs> how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, I'm good. I was like, how much time I'm going to have to feel? But you're so great. You're so yeah, great. No, I was like on the dot, ready to go. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. So you're going to talk us through some of the must-try apps that people should kind of get involved with or try out when they're kind of, there's that in-between time where they don't yeah. know what they should be doing when they're meant to be in salon, etc. So yeah, yeah take us take cool. us um, So I just want to say, this is such a hard time at the moment that yeah. um, people often kind of get bogged down with, oh, I don't know what to do, why am, I, why am I not doing something? Maybe I should be doing something more. Yeah. Um, and I, I took the first week off. I was just like, I'm just going to have a week to myself. But now that I'm feeling a bit more productive, I've got four main apps that I generally use quite often Okay. on both the salon page and on my personal page as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to go through the first one with you and it's all to do with Instagram stories. Mm -hmm. um, definitely Instagram stories, it should be a separate app because it's such an important part of social media these days. Would you say it's the most, I would say it's the most important part for us. Would you say that for you as well? I, I, I get more, I get way more interaction from Insta stories than I do from my grid. Yeah. Um, and I just think that people are really interested, especially with hairdressers um, going live and, you know, mm -hmm. especially now more than ever, people, more people are going live. Yeah. It's a great way to educate and it's quick and it's easy and it's no fuss. That's what it is. Yeah. And is great. I would say it's also a good way to show your personality. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you just look at my page, yeah, okay, the work is nice, but you don't know that I'm like one of the biggest divas ever. You're you know? so <laughs> Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. I think um, Instagram stories is a great way to showcase your personality. Um, and I, I'm going to just quickly show you an app that yes. I generally use on um, Insta stories. I've so got my pen ready. Great. <laughs> so the first app is called Canva, and that's spelled C A N V A. Yeah. Now, this app is great because it's full of templates. Yeah. So if you can just see here, it has templates for animated social media, Instagram posts, and then you've got um, loads and loads of templates for Insta stories. Yeah. You can even make your own logos, Facebook posts, flyers, posters. So there's yeah. loads of content on, um, on this app here that you can use to utilize uh, and advertise your business and yeah. your salon or whatever you're doing. And is it free, Casey? So it is free, but there are things that you might need to purchase in there as well. Okay, um, cool. I, I have paid for this app because I, I really enjoy it. So, and there's so much you can utilize in the app. And I'm just yeah. gonna show you um, what my kind of, so this is what I've previously done before. Oh, cool. Um, and this, this one here um, is my template for all of my stories. Yeah. So whenever I use this template, um, it's for things like um, announcements or um, Fall of Fridays or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Canva, C-A-N-V-A. I was about to say, people are asking, what's it yeah, called? Yeah, I, I can see, like, what's it called? What's it called? <laughs> um, and like I said, it's a great app to use, especially, um, I actually quite enjoy using it for Facebook as well. Okay. And a lot, a lot of people tend to like forget about Facebook. Yeah. And actually, the the amount of groups and everything that there are there are on Facebook. So Canva is great to kind of push forward your brand yeah. um, and, and keep everything kind of in sync. Because I'm so I'm so as you can use the same template in different dimensions for different apps, right? Yeah. So I'll just show you this quickly. So um, this is um, the the template that I use often. Um, and you can change the color. Oh, so I'm, I'm going to choose this here and I'm going to change the color to green or blue. Yeah. So now my lines here are blue. You can alter it every time. 
Um, so there's loads of editing in this as well. Sorry, my yeah. ring light is completely blurring everything out. But it's fine. We, we can I look really well. tired, so I need this right now. <laughs> I've got one behind me too. Yeah. <laughs> no um, so Canva is a great way to... Um, to advert, to advertise yourself. But like you say, keep yourself on brand. Yeah. Using the same template, but changing it up every now and again is yeah. a great way for people to understand that, oh, actually that came from you. Yeah, Excel or, yeah, it's hairdresser. Exactly. If there's, if someone's asked, do you have to download or submit it, download the templates or make your own? So you can do both, can't you? Yeah, so you can actually, um, there's loads of ways. So um, all of these are pre-downloaded. Mm -hmm. So, and there's hundreds, there's so many, yeah. um, even to the point where there's YouTube channel art. So even if you're oh, a wow. YouTuber, yeah, you can even use some of these as green screens. So when no, you're I don't know that. Yeah, so apparently you can, you can take, so you can use Canva on your desktop. Yeah. Now, I didn't know this. I didn't but know if that you, either. If you can use it on your de desktop, you can kind of remove backgrounds and put them on videos and things like that. So it's actually way more advanced than I give it credit for. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That is wicked. And that's what, it's amazing that it's for free as well. Like, obviously, oh I know gosh, you said yeah. that you can do a lot of things premium, but yeah. so like, as a starting point, that's brilliant. I think it's um, one of the most important apps, especially nowadays, that people really, really do want to, um, they want to kind of push themselves out there. You know, you see young hairdressers like, Georgia Bell and Daryl Taylor, who are really yeah. trying to like push themselves forward. So this is a great way to brand yourself and make people aware and make people acknowledge who you are by yeah, having in a really seen... like, professional way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so cool. that's that's. Someone the said, one. "Sorry, missed the name of this one. It's called Canva. C A N V A." Yeah, um, and it's a great app. Mm -hmm. If you don't have it, it's really really great to use. Cool. Um, so the second one is something called, called Planoly. Nice. Um, and Planoly is, um, it's a scheduling app. So um, I'm really busy. I have to run a salon. I run an event. I, I'm on the same team. There's just so much going on. Um, hi, Ella. Sorry, my, my apprentice has just come on now. It's so funny. I haven't seen her for a week, so I just oh. said hello. So I thought I'd say hello back. I've just typed um, in the name of that one, by the way. Planally, yes, yeah. great, perfectly. So um, this is our salon Instagram page at the moment. Yeah. Um, and what we can do is I can schedule the posts for when we are more likely to get the highest amount of um, reaction and reach and yeah. um, integration, etc. so interaction. Um, Katie, before you go on, can you tell um, users that don't maybe know how to look at their insights how you do that? Yeah, absolutely. So... Um, if you have a, a business page or even a personal hair page, it's a great idea to turn your Instagram page to a business page. Yeah. That way you can monitor how many people are looking at your page, um, what posts brought them to that page. And then from that information, what you can do is you can plan future posts on things like that. So, um, for example, um, you can go into your settings and onto your insights. And on your insights, you have things like, okay, this post had 683 people look at it. Oh, yeah. um, and then you can kind of go onto it and then you can view the insights of that particular post. Yeah. So what I love seeing is this little one here. Yeah. And it's how many times somebody has saved that post. Yeah. It's, it's almost like the new like. Yeah, like I if, love that as well. Yeah, it's I great. Even create, all the images that I put up on HJ's Instagram, yeah. I'm like, I feel pride even though I didn't create those hair looks. Like, oh, that, <laughs> that one got this many saves. Yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so here's another. So this is one of our more popular posts. So we've had 31 people save this. Love that. 260 people like it. Um, but then if we scroll up, we can see that it actually reached 3,054 3, people. Yeah. And that's incredible. And that's I think amazing. one thing that one thing people don't generally keep an eye out for is reach. Yeah. Reach is really important and impressions are really important. Yeah. And um, it helps us understand how many people we're actually getting to. And um, yeah. so like I say, if you have Instagram, change your page to a business account. Mm -hmm. And once you've done that, um, go into your settings and look at your insights. And you can even see, like this here, 
um, how many have followed you, how many have unfollowed you, um, where your um, followers are from. So yeah. surprise, surprise, the majority of our followers are from Cardiff. Because we're based in Cardiff. Very local, yeah. Um, That's wicked, though. Yeah, it's great. And also you can see the age range of your clients and the people that are following you as well. Yeah. So that's also a great way to plan what kind of content to put out. Yeah, exactly. What kind of audience you have, and then you can get a better understanding of your followers. Yeah. Because also, for, for instance, you're saying that most of your, your followers are in Cardiff. Yeah. So it's no good for you if most of your followers are in, like, Taiwan. America. You know? Yeah. So it's yeah. really handy to see, like, how localised your... Um, your followers are if they can be turned into real clients absolutely and i think that that's why going changing your instagram account to a business account is so important it's so yeah. so important because it helps you understand exactly how much business there is to be had yeah if people are already following oh oh casey you've got i'm seeing the buffering will hopefully i'll be back the what? Sorry. I can hear you. Oh, oh. I don't know <laughs> what happened. Wait for a little bit. Give <laughs> me heart palpitations. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it's a great way. Um, it's a great way to can really understand um, who your followers are. And I, like I say, if you if they're already following you, they're already curious about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna go back to this app called Planoly. Yes, Planoly. Um, because it helps you schedule all your posts. So, yeah, so generally, that's what your Instagram grid will look like or looks like now. So this is our this is what ours looks like now. Yeah. So what I thought I would do is I thought I would make a post now so people oh, oh. that's not good. <laughs> so people can see um, so people can see exactly how to work it. Amazing. Um, so what you do is you you start planning by adding in an image, and yeah. you go to your recent images. So for example. Um, we'll choose what, this one here, and you can add um, numerous at the same time. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so this app is also free. However, if you want to plan your stories and other things, then you do have to pay for that as well. Oh, well, that's um, cool, though, that you have that option. Yeah, well, it, it's a great way, because I don't pay for this, actually. Um, but oh, okay. it's, Yeah, it's great, actually, because I, 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 like, I think that stories should be done on the whim and it should be done in the moment yeah. um, whereas this is definitely more pre-planned yeah. so this this image here isn't actually on my grid at the moment so what okay. i'm going to do is i'm going to edit it mm -hmm. i can put in my um uh, my caption and my uh, hashtags at the top there yeah and then you can add you can add people um you can schedule the time so when you want to schedule mm -hmm. it it comes up with the time and date that you'd like Amazing. to use as well. Yeah. Um, now, like I say, I, I, I don't have time to be concentrating on Instagram every day. So this app is a great way to schedule my weeks worth of posts. Yeah. Um, and so how, this, how many can you pre-schedule? Um, so I think you can only do up to 10. Um, oh, well, I think it's lot. either up to 10 or 20, but that's mm -hmm. for the month. So you can okay. only do a certain amount of month. Um, I'm sure and that's if you should pay, you could probably do a bit more. A absolutely. If you pay for that app, then you could definitely upload as many as you'd like, really. Um, yeah. Which is great. So um, definitely a time saver and definitely something that every salon should have, every hairdresser should have, especially if you're busy. Planoly is the app that you definitely need it. Mm -hmm. um, you need to kind of make your life a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, Someone said, would you recommend editing photos so they fit a certain theme? Um, so theme that's sorry, that was so sad. <laughs> <the theme. laughs> um, so I actually want to touch base on the most popular um, social media platform that we have, and that is what we're on right now, and that's Instagram. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm going to respond to that question right now. Um, yeah. And that is, I, I wouldn't necessarily edit your pictures to look different. I'd only mm -hmm. ever edit your pictures to enhance. Yeah. So um, a lot of people don't actually use the editing tools on Instagram. So, yeah. for example, I'm going to take this um, quite a dull color. Mm -hmm. I'm going to press next. And then I'm going to go into the edit bot uh, tab down here. Mm -hmm. And things like contrast, putting that up a little bit, putting the brightness up a little bit. 
and yeah. then maybe adding a bit more of a cooler tone just mm -hmm. makes it feel a bit more expensive. Yeah. So it just enhances the actual image. So my not, answer to that question So you're not is, adjusting the hair. Exactly. So it never adjusts yeah. the hair, only enhance the colour. A lot yeah. of the time, using things like ring lights, they can actually blow out colour mm -hmm. um, and make colour look not as bright, which it sounds crazy, but I found that since having the iPhone 11 Pro Max, um, mm -hmm. my because it's such a strong camera, it can come off a bit grainy if I yes. use a ring light. Isn't that yes. weird? So weird. I've had to adjust this ring. I've got the 11, just the normal 11, and I've had yeah. to adjust my light so many times because of, yeah, yeah it, I look ridiculous. It just, it <laughs> makes it look pixelates everything, which is horrendous. Um, yeah. But yeah, definitely um, Instagram, the editing tool on Instagram is um, one of the easiest and free things that we can use to enhance yeah. our hair images, for sure. Yeah. Cool. Um, so Sorry, you can go back to Planoly if you want. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... Planoly, um, I think I've said all of what I'm going to say about Planoly, actually, because, yeah. like I say, it's a, it's a great app to use. You can schedule all your posts for specific time and dates. The only, yeah. thing that, the only downfall, I will say, is that if you want to tag a brand or um, if you want to tag somebody else in it, if you mm. type in their name here, it's not linked up to Instagram. So you need to make what sure is. that you have their exact handle on planet. Yeah. But you know what, Otherwise. that's the same with, so we, we use Buffer and that's the same. I think it's across all scheduling tools. So yeah, would, yeah. Cause, and we have to pay for Buffer. So I think yeah. considering it's great, it's got still really good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there, there is there are other editing apps. I think I, I used to use Mosaico. Um, okay, and it's, yeah. like, it's, it's a great app, but you've got to pay for it. And mm. you can't necessarily schedule your posts. It's just to plan yeah. them all out. So I yeah. found that paying six quid for that was not great. Not worth um, it. But Pl Planoly is literally, I think it's probably one of the better ones that I've come across. Yeah. Um, it makes my life so much easier. And yeah. it's, it's free, which is, you know, yeah. winner, winner, chicken dinner. So I'm all for that. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so oh the next app I want to go on to is something called InShot. Um, yeah. Now, InShot kind of comes together with um, the iMovie app, or if you don't use iPhone, um, a lot of Android apps have, a lot of Android phones have like a movie app that you can make widgets yeah. on. Yeah. Um, so I find that these two apps together, so there's iMovie and InShot, they go yeah. quite well hand in hand. Um, mm -hmm. So I find that InShot is great for putting the movie together. And then the iMovie is great for editing voiceovers and things like that as well. Yeah, and they're both quite easy to use? I think so, yeah. I mean, the, again, um, InShot is free. You don't have to pay for it. It yeah. is a little bit of a kind of, you have to work your way around it a little bit. It might take you an hour, mm -hmm. like an hour or so. But it's actually a great app to edit videos. Um, mm -hmm. I often like add music in the background and you can overlay that with a voiceover. Um, yeah. Like, it's, it's quite a, a, a great app to use, I find. Um, yeah. So if I go onto my Instagram, um, what I'll find is that on my, um, on my TV, on my IGTV, yeah. all of my videos that are educational, uh, mm -hmm. have voiceovers, etc. They're all done via InShot. Yeah. Cool. I, um, it was actually um, a guy called Connor from Ireland. Um, he's an incredible colorist and his videos are great. And I, I asked him, I, I don't, what video app are you using? And he said InShot was by far the better one. So that was yeah. definitely an app that I'd always recommend somebody use um, for vi editing videos anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And do you do you use that for both like IGTV and the grid? Um, because obviously they're different compositions. Yeah. Unfortunately, IGTV, um, their starter images are like long, like they're like, like um, portraits. So yeah. when you want to put that on your grid, it kind of like zooms in on your image and it doesn't quite yeah. fit with your grid, which drives me up the wall. It's so annoying. <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, but actually, if I look at this here, what you mm -hmm. can do is when you're using the IGTV, you can actually choose your own um, image to go on the front of it. Okay, yeah. So that means then that it'll actually fit in your grid, like these two do here. Um, mm -hmm. These are educational videos, and they, um, uh, they, I've chosen their own image just to kind of fit in with my grid instead of it being like a landscape portrait. I oh, like yeah, the yeah. image. Yeah. Um, also, I think that um, a lot of people shy away from using their own iPhone to edit. Yeah. So um, even if you take a picture with your iPhone, um, there are great editing tools on your iPhone to really vamp up your mm -hmm. image. Um, yeah. So, for example, uh, let's just take this here. This image here, mm -hmm. let's see if I can do this without you getting blinded <laughs> by the ring light. Um, <laughs> so if you go into edit, um, you can edit things like, sorry, um, you can edit things like, um, let's have a look, um, the exposure, uh, brilliance, highlights, shadows, contrast. So it's quite similar yeah. to Instagram. And you can yeah. really kind of switch up your image. So even if you haven't got any apps on your phone, um, mm -hmm. Using your own iPhone editing tools is a really great way to enhance your images and yeah. make sure that you're really kind of making each image look like it's your own image and it has an extra bit of punch. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. How do you make sure that all your images are kind of like the, the same? Like yeah. same kind of contrast, etc. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I have um, preset... Um, preset contrast on everything. So I have oh, okay. certain numbers that I go to. So okay. if I'm editing an image and the contrast will go to a maximum of 30, I don't like it any higher than 30. Oh. And then the brightness won't go any higher than 20. Um, mm -hmm. So that I have certain levels that I try and keep, um, keep everything to. There is another yeah. app called Color Tone. And Color Tone, Tone, yeah, Color Tone is an app that you can use to edit images to enhance mm -hmm. um, the color scheme. So if you I... want your grid to all look cohesive, yeah. an app like Color Tone will just make everything, every image look similar. They may not be ha all hair images. They may be um, pictures of your team or um, pictures yeah. of your salon. But the editing tool will, will make every image feel like it almost has the same aesthetic. Yeah, that's like a, yeah to make it look cohesive. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that um, a lot of people get wrapped up in um, oh, I've got to make every image look the same. All my images from you don't need to do that. I think yeah. that we've <laughs> we've kind of gotten so obsessed with everything looking perfect that yeah. actually um, you can kind of afford to be a bit messy. I mean, me personally, if I look at my um, if I look at my Instagram grid. What I would normally do is all of the salon images all face the same way. So mm -hmm. um, they're all on diagonal on yeah. the same way. Um, all, the nat all the natural colours aren't. Sorry, there you are. So the natural colours okay. aren't. All, all of my vivids are all tilted one way. Yeah. Um, and that's how I like my, my Instagram feed feeling kind of cohesive. Whereas if we go yeah. back down here a bit, like that one's straight, that one's that way, that one's that way. Do you know what I mean? It looks a little bit more yeah. jumbled. Right, so that's um, your whereas... way of creating cohesion. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like I say, using your iPhone to edit and colour tone, that app is great. Um, yeah. It's a really, really good way to make your page feel cohesive. Um, I will say as well that um, if you are going to edit vid vid like videos uh, and things like that on your, on your phone, I bought a mic. And oh, okay. it's got like this big fluffy thing on the end to diffuse any surrounding sound. Yeah, like background. Um, or like, is that, yeah, it's, like a, it's almost like a windbreaker. So sometimes mm -hmm. if you speak into a mic or you can hear voiceovers because it sounds like you're in an empty room. Um, yeah. If you go onto Amazon and buy one of like these little fluffy mics, I think it was like 30 quid. Yeah. It's a really good way to do voiceovers and a great way to disperse any surrounding sounds. Someone said, um, how do I get music in the back of my Instagram posts? So uh, if you want music in the back of your Instagram posts, you'll definitely need um, a video app like InTheShot. 
InShot mm -hmm. is, um, or you can even use iMovie if you have um, an iPhone. And all you do is you, there's an, a little tab that you can add music to. So I'm going to show you on InShot how to do it. So oh. I'm just going to create a movie on InShot. So let's just kind of create, um, we'll just put all these images in just for the time being. There you go. Yeah. So select, done, okay. Uh, make a video. Someone's asked if there's an alternative for iMovie on Android. I don't know the answer. Do you know the answer, Casey? I don't know the answer. I'm, I'm, I'm all Apple, so I'm iPhone, Apple. everything Apple. Yeah. Um, <laughs> part of I, Apple I, I can't help it. <laughs> it just makes life easier. But, um, it does we'll make do life so much easier. If we, when, I, when we come out of this, I'll write down all the names of the apps that you've suggested and I'll find some alternatives for Android on, and I'll put that post on HJ. So don't you worry. Definitely great. Not you, Katie. Um, but maybe I was going to say, but that'd be great for me as well because I, I probably would have been yeah. in about half an hour. <laughs> um, there is one more app that I would probably recommend using, um, yeah. and it's called Be Funky, and it's, Be Funky? Um, it's on, yeah, Be Funky. <laughs> it sounds like I don't know, Funky Pigeon or something. But no, <laughs> it's, um, <laughs> and so Be Funky is a great app to use when. Um, you know if you like to do the half and half or the four or like you like to split your images up yeah, it's a yeah. great app to use because you can overlay it with text and um, you can edit each individual uh, image and you can kind of flip your images so that's also a great app to use as well i use that quite a lot actually amazing yeah. i do want to ask you about tiktok oh my god <laughs> do you use it Okay, so... Or do you just sit there and watch, like, five hours of videos on it? <laughs> <laughs> so I've only, I've only just downloaded TikTok, and okay. I am obsessed. Um, yeah. But I, at the moment, I haven't got any hair content, care hair content on there. It's literally yeah. me with a towel wrap around my head doing voiceovers with <laughs> Mean Girls. It's okay. so much fun. Honestly, Please I Please leave your hand somewhere time. around here. It's the same as my Instagram, so at KCC underscore hair. If you want to watch me make an absolute fool of myself, head over to my TikTok. Ella <laughs> said um, Katie's TikTok is the best thing ever. It's so funny. <laughs> She's not wrong, I'm not going to lie. Um, no, I, I definitely think that TikTok is almost like the video version of Instagram. Um, it's a really fun way to do whatever you're going to do. So when things kind of start to die down and everything becomes a bit calmer, I am going to yeah. switch to doing hair on there. I have an idea That's of what right. I want to do. Yeah, I have an idea of what I want to do. And, um, and yeah, I mean, we have other people on there doing hair at the moment. But for the time being, I'm just enjoying having a really fun time and getting lost in yeah. about a million videos. And then all of yeah. a sudden it's like 11 o'clock at night and I've just watched those <laughs> TikToks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, why is my screen time up 55%? <laughs> oh, <know>. wow. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> oh, someone's going to tell me off. They said, don't forget to show us how to add the music in the black background, please. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> we're having too much of a nice so, time, Casey. <laughs> yeah, we're having a whale of a time. So, um, if you have InShot, mm -hmm. I've just made a video here. So what you can do is you can press the little plus sign in the top corner. Yeah, hold, then... hold it up a bit more, Casey, if that's okay. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, so um, where is it? Oh, no, that's a voiceover. So to add a voiceover, there's a little mm -hmm. microphone here. Cool. Um, and then you need to go all the way to the beginning. And then you can add, it should be up here. Do you know what? I can't actually find it on here. I've never done it on my iPad before. I always do it on my phone. So but my, I'm recording myself on my phone. But um, whoever wants to know, if you DM me, and I will let you know, because I'm looking at this, and I'm feeling a lot of yeah. lost right now. I don't know why they changed it on <laughs> no iPad. Worries. Why did they change it on an iPad? I have no idea. <laughs> um, someone's asked, what would you say is the best way to grow Instagram following and have a strong presence? Hashtags don't seem to be working. Um, I find that I have a specific time of day that I post um, mm -hmm. and it's all down to um, following your, um, your insights on your Instagram. So if you don't have a business account, switch it to a business account um, and that will definitely help you boost your, um, your ratings. 
Um, yeah. I find that sometimes if a post goes viral, and viral doesn't necessarily mean everybody's seen it. It might just yeah. be that normally you only get 10 likes, but on this post you get 30. That's yeah. a viral post. For you, that's a viral right. post. Yeah. So what you need to do is you maybe need to, um, you need to boost that post for two mm -hmm. days, put five pounds on each day or something, um, and it increases traffic to your page. Um, mm -hmm. And also by doing that maybe once a week for a few weeks, Instagram also kind of like, it boosts your algorithm and it like pushes you up the grid a little bit more. And it yeah. sees that you're more of a heavy user. Mm -hmm. I also find that if I'm using stories all the time and then mm -hmm. I do a post, I find that that makes my post more popular. And again, mm -hmm. it's just to do with being active on Instagram. Um, mm -hmm. Somebody once told me to just go onto the, my stories in the morning and just leave all my stories run through, throughout, you know, through all the stories that are on my followers. Because um, yeah. it looks like you're watching everybody's stories. And that's oh, also okay. a great way to like, increase your productivity on Instagram as well. Interesting. I've never heard that tip before, so I've learned something new today. <laughs> I feel like we have to wrap up here because we have hit half past two. Um, but if oh. you have any more questions for Katie, thank you so much, Katie. And if anyone has any questions, they need to follow you and they can yes. DM you. And, yeah. and if there's anything that they've missed, they can rewatch this. It'll be live for 24 hours on our story and then we'll pop it onto our website as well. Amazing. Thank you so oh, much, Keisha. It's been amazing. Thank you everybody thank for watching you. as well. Bye. See you later.